My name's Tom Kipling, I'm the IT manager here at uh, Bridge College and we're an independent specialist college located in central Manchester. And we're ta talking today about the DART project, so how did you initially get involved in the DART project? Uh, we already had established links with Beaumont College uh, through other projects we've been working with, so we were slightly aware of, of, of the original DART project. Um, we went to the RSC Northwest event and we saw the uh, presentation from Rowan and from there seeing the impact of the first phase of the, uh, the DART project we felt we had to get on board with the second phase because we, we knew it could just do wonders for us here at the college. Mm -hmm. So what planning and preparation took place before getting involved with the DART project? Okay, uh, we initially met as a, as a group of interested individuals throughout the college, um, some from each department, from IT, from uh, speech and language, from occupational therapy and somebody from the senior management team and um, we wanted to really um, put together what we, what we wanted from the, the DART project, uh, where we felt we needed some support and some guidance. And what we wanted to do really was work to a strategic direction so that the college as a whole was working towards uh, the use of assistive technology to improve the learner experience. Okay, so how have the DART team and the staff at the college worked together over the years? Okay, um, we've had several visits from staff at Beaumont College. We've had the initial um, audit of our assistive technology. So basically looking at what's going on in sessions, what we're offering, what equipment we use, what hardware, what software. And um, after the initial audit, it, was, it gave us a great start as to, to look at what areas we needed to develop and what areas we needed support with. Um, we had a network technician from Beaumont visit us for a day looking at um, Rowan profiles and setting up other assistive technology software available for students on the network. We had uh, many visits and conversations, emails, telephone calls with assistive technologists at Beaumont College. Some of our therapy team have been over to shadow staff at Beaumont College and we've also had an assistive technologist for the, for the day here at the college uh, in the morning looking in sessions where we can support staff and students and then in the afternoon offering training for staff on the whole assistive technology process from assessment through to what's new and what's uh, up and coming. So what changes have come about at the college because of the DART project? Okay we have uh, put together uh, an assistive technologist role and that's currently being advertised and will be in place for September. Uh, we have identified assistive technology as champions throughout the college staff so um, staff in different areas are able to take the lead in supporting students with uh, assistive technology. And we also have a, an assistive technology team, which is a group of uh, senior staff who are going to be focusing on where we're developing assistive technology at the college. Um, we are planning to run a number of training sessions for developing awareness of assistive technology um, for staff, for parents and for external practitioners. Um, we're also looking to hopefully develop the use of uh, assistive technology throughout our parent organisation, the Together Trust, um, because we feel that what we can develop here can be replicated elsewhere and um, it's just because some students are with us, are with the organisation for a number of years, it's useful that they, they receive as much support throughout their time with the Trust. So has there been an impact of the project so far here at the College? Yes, the students have uh, have had impact from the changes made to the, the network so that they have access to roaming profiles now. They're now seeing that uh, settings that they set on one machine it can now transfer with them to other machines and uh, more availability of uh, assistive technology software. But as for the sort of changes to our ADL flat and the assistive technologist role, it will be sort of from September onwards we will notice more of an impact of that. Okay, um, and do you have any advice to any other colleges that might be interested in applying for future DART projects? Um, well, for us it's uh, basically been about developing our ideas and exploring possibilities with like-minded people who will want to make things happen, so do, do get on board. <laughs>